last year we spoke to one of the oldest sets of identical twins in the UK, 96 year olds Lil Cox and Doris Hobday, and the pair won the hearts of the nation with their zest for life and their cheeky sense of humour. Well, as we said in that memoriam, uh, earlier this month, both Doris and Lil caught COVID-19 and, very sadly, Doris passed away. Well, we're joined now by Lil and by her great-grandson, Braden. Um, welcome to both of you. Lil, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, you and your sister captured the hearts of all our viewers of the country and we all fell in love with you. And I was so distraught to hear that Doris had sadly lost her life. How are you and, and how are you doing? You've got to make the best of it, are you? You've got to make the best of it. Now bring it back. Lil, what do you miss about Doris? What do you miss about Doris? Well, there was only one I got on about her. There was only me and her for how many years? 18 here, then we had a brother. You were so close and when we saw you together, you had such a lovely relationship and, um, and you had such a great sense of humour. When Piers was reading out the tribute to Doris, he mentioned the fact that when you used to go to work in the factory together, you'd go on the bus and you would sing so loudly that sometimes you'd be thrown off the bus. Was that the case, Lil? Oh, that would. <laughs> what did you used to sing together? What we used to sing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's been that many years. But you sang so loudly that the bus driver would say, that's enough. Off, off. And he'd come upstairs and throw me off. <laughs> uh, Braden, uh, I just want to just talk to you because we love Lil and we love Doris and they, they really did get everyone, I think just for a few moments when we did that interview with them before, just got everyone laughing and mm -hmm. distracted from all the misery and then of course your family got hit by Covid and we lost Doris and thank God we've still got Lil with us but it must be a very tough time for your family. Yeah, it's been it's been very hard for us, like as a family, very emotional, like. But I think it's brought the family together to realise we've got to make the most of what we've got at the moment in this difficult time. And Lil, how would you like Doris to be remembered? You knew her better than anybody. With everything, because it was fantastic. Fantastic person, wasn't she? Fantastic person, wasn't she? What did you say, Lil? Just say that again about Doris. It was the only one I ever had. Well, you were inseparable we twins. Our brothers or sisters. Yeah, you were inseparable yeah, and. There's no need for that. Yeah. Lil. I thought it was terrible. Lil. Lil, so many people are going through sadly, what you and your family have been going through. What is your message to people who are suffering from this COVID? We've gone through. Thousands have gone through. It's been hard, hasn't it? It has been hard. It's good and the devil I too, bud. Braden, um, we want, you know, we know that, that this is a very sad time, obviously, for Lil, and uh, a very different interview to the one that we are used to having with her because she always is such a ray of sunshine and obviously mm. there's been huge darkness here. But um, what, what do you think the family's message is now to people out there who are either going through the same thing or perhaps aren't taking this virus seriously enough? No, they're not. You have to take it serious, like, it's, no, it's very are. dangerous. Like, <clears throat> just look after your family members and social distance from people you don't know, because it's very deadly as well. 
You don't really know, so you have got to eat yourself. Yeah. And Lil, what do you feel, Lil, about the way that, that we have handled this pandemic in, in the UK? Oh, well, I don't think I could have handled it any different. Oh, damn. Could you come on to Sudin? How are you feeling, having recovered from coronavirus? How are you feeling now in yourself? Almost, almost. I've got a good nose. Braden, I can imagine you want to wrap Lil up in cotton wool now, don't you? Preserve her forever. That's right, my darling. Yeah, I would, I really would. Well, Lil, um, we're just so sorry. Everyone at Good Morning Britain is just so sorry mm. about Doris and it must be very, very difficult for you in particular and your whole family to not have her with you, but just know that she's in our hearts, you're in our hearts yeah. and you were incredibly special together and you're incredibly special right now as you talk to us and we send you all our love and our deepest condolences from everyone at the show and all our viewers who uh, fell in love with you all and we just send you our best and we wish you all the very best for your recovery. Oh, thank you very, very much, Pierce. Braden, thank you too. Take good care of Lil. She's very special. Yeah, I, w I will do. Thank you. Thank you both very Lots much indeed. All, all the very us. best, Lil. Mm. It's heartbreaking. You know, and they're right there, that's, that's this pandemic, isn't it? You know, you have these two wonderfully ebullient, fun-loving, mischievous, cheeky twins in their mid-90s, and they captivated all of us. And then you can see the difference to Lil. You know, yeah. she's, a, she's been through hell herself from this virus and thankfully has survived, and she'd lost her other half, you know, Doris. She was like her other half, her wasn't twin, she? You know, and they were they were yin and yang to each other and yeah. wonderful together. And you can see how sad it, this situation is for poor Lil. And our heart goes out to her and all the families all that the are families. going through this right now in this country. It's uh, you know th that figure, a hundred thousand people, and that's just the bare minimum. Mm. The real figure is a lot higher from excess deaths and from the numbers even in the last two weeks, 120, 130,000 maybe. This is just. Horrendous.